So what you gotta do is you gotta be kneeled down in a stabbing motion. Welcome to Watch Mojo, and today we're counting down our picks for the top 10 movie mistakes only a doctor would notice. For this list, we'll be looking at moments or plots from movies that contain medical impossibilities or major professional violations. What medical plot holes bother you in movies? Be sure to tell us in the comments, stat. Number 10, Mouth to Mouth, Jurassic Park. In movies, mouth to mouth resuscitation is the key to seemingly reviving anyone, but it's not quite so simple in the real world. In a memorable Jurassic Park scene, Tim Murphy has an unfortunate encounter with an electric fence. One. Dr. Alan Grant proceeds to perform chest compressions and blow into Tim's mouth. Not even a minute passes before Tim is coughing and conscious. No, Tim! Good boy. Good boy. Unfortunately, this is as unrealistic as dinosaurs coming back to life. Dr. Grant skipped a major part of mouth-to-mouth -mouth resuscitation. He never tilted Tim's head back to keep the tongue from blocking the airways. He also relies too much on mouth-to-mouth -mouth and not enough on compressions. Life might find a way, but there's little hope that Grant's method would ever actually succeed. Hey, your hair is all sticking up. Big Tim, the human piece of toast. Number nine, tranquilizer, old school. If you introduce a tranquilizer in a Will Ferrell comedy, it's probably going to hit him. That's why we started laughing as soon as Farrell's Frank was introduced to a powerful tranquilizer gun. Wow. She's a beauty, ain't she? Yeah. What kind of gun is this? That's a tranquilizer gun. After he accidentally and inevitably shoots himself with the dart, he gets groggy and loopy before finally passing out in the pool. While an animal tranquilizer would definitely knock a person out, its effects wouldn't be as instantaneous as this scene makes it seem. You're crazy. You're crazy, man. You're crazy. I like you, but you're crazy. Old School tried to cover this by blasting Frank with an especially strong dose, but while it made for great comedy, it's still inaccurate. The one thing this scene definitely got right is that you shouldn't handle a tranquilizer gun unless you know what you're doing. Cool. They say it can puncture the skin of a rhino from a hundred- Ow! Number eight, trauma exam, Twilight. A vampire stopping a car from barreling down on you with one hand is already pretty absurd. But what happens after this abnormal show of strength is also implausible. After Edward Cullen miraculously saves Bella Swan from an out-of-control car, she's brought to the hospital. Edward's vampiric dad, Carlisle, examines her in the emergency room by shining a flashlight in her eyes and speculating that she might have undergone post-traumatic stress. Look here. You might experience some post-traumatic stress or disorientation, but your vitals look good. No signs of any head trauma. No doctor, vampire or not, would make a PTSD diagnosis so quickly and casually. Also, his overall examination is pretty rushed. I mean, he got to me so fast, he was nowhere near me. Sounds like you were very lucky. Dr. Cullen's license might be in jeopardy if the state medical board knew about this or the whole being a vampire thing. Number seven, collapsed lung, Mad Max Fury Road. Trying any of the death-defying stunts in this modern action classic would likely send you straight to the hospital or the morgue. Ironically, it was a relatively more realistic injury that made doctors turn their heads. Why is she making that noise? She's pumping air into her chest cavity. She's collapsing her lungs. After Furiosa is seriously hurt in action fighting in Morton Joe's forces, she experiences a tension pneumothorax, better known as a collapsed lung. The actions Max takes to save her would have just made things worse. I am so sorry. <gasps> I know, I know. He punctures Furiosa's side when he should instead be going for her chest. With this method, he could have easily struck a vital organ by mistake. But hey, he's Mad Max, not MD Max. Hey. Hey. Number six, CPR slaps the abyss. CPR is already a pretty dramatic procedure. After all, it involves saving someone's life with your bare hands. Three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 
Breathe. One, two, three, four. Breathe. But filmmakers seem to think that's not dramatic enough and often add unnecessary touches like this. When Dr. Lindsay Brigman passes out from hypothermia, her estranged husband Bud Brigman gives her CPR. And by gives her CPR, we mean that he performs a few chest compressions before slapping her across the face and yelling at her. Fight! 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 Right now! Do it! Fight! God damn it! Since this is a movie, Bud's efforts work, but it's a very inaccurate portrayal of what he should have done. You can do it, baby. <laughs> <laughs> While CPR is an essential skill to have, it's not something you should learn from the movies. Number five, the plot, Awake. This thriller claims that one in every 700 surgery patients stays awake after undergoing anesthesia and builds the meat of its plot around this statistic. Wait, am I supposed to be asleep right now? While that's certainly a frightening thing to think about, it's also incredibly misleading. While anesthesia awareness does happen, the one in 700 estimate is disputed. The American Association of Nurse Anesthesiology estimated it to be more like one in a thousand. Oh no, please. No. Additionally, the prolonged awareness that Clay has, like the kind he experiences in the movie, is even more rare. You're more likely to experience anesthesia awareness if you're particularly ill or are undergoing an especially dangerous procedure. Come on, man, can you see that? Why am I crying, huh? Something's wrong. But even then, the odds are not as high as the movie makes it seem. Number four, The Ventilator, Million Dollar Baby. Million Dollar Baby is both a powerful sports drama and a heartbreaking examination of when to keep fighting and when to give in. What it's not is an accurate depiction of how ventilators work. After boxer Maggie has her neck broken in the ring, she's paralyzed from the waist down and hooked up to a ventilator. This tragic twist becomes sadder when Maggie tells him that she wants to die. While it's a beautifully written and acted monologue, there's no way it could happen. I can't be like this, Frankie. Not after what I've done. I've seen the world. Why? Because a ventilator blocks the patient's ability to speak due to the placement of the breathing tube. Additionally, the adrenaline Frankie uses would likely not have the fatal consequences the film depicts. Went to see Maggie this morning. He must have been somewhere else. Yeah. Number three, Face Transplant, Face Off. This thriller from action legend John Woo is both ridiculously entertaining and just plain ridiculous. Madman Caster Troy knows about a bomb that could threaten many innocent lives. What if you could walk into Air One prison and give Pollux a nice big brotherly hug as Caster Troy? I have no idea what you're talking about. When he's injured, FBI agent Sean Archer borrows the villain's face, assumes his identity, and tries to get more info about the explosive. There are real facial procedures where donated tissue can be given to a compatible recipient. So you want to take his face and mine? Borrow. <laughs> the procedure's completely reversible. However, this type of face transplant wasn't successfully completed until 2005, eight years after Face Off was released. And while the movie makes it seem like a suction cup device is all you would need for this procedure, it's a lot more complicated than that. <laughs> But we admit, it made for a bonkers and exciting movie. Number two, Poisoning, Casino Royale. Daniel Craig's first turn as James Bond in Casino Royale was praised for feeling more realistic than past 007 adventures. But one scene was more ridiculous than most Bond villain schemes. After Bond ingests a poisoned martini at a Texas Hold'em tournament in Montenegro, he rushes to his car. Mm-hmm. <laughs> 
he manages to get in touch with MI6 in London and follows the doctor's instructions to inject an antidote and jumpstart his heart. Stay calm. And don't interrupt, because you'll be dead within two minutes unless you do exactly what I tell you. <laughs> I'm all ears. The chances that Bond would have access to the perfect antidote is already ridiculous. And he also completely messes up the placement of the defibrillator. <laughs> 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 However, we'll give the scene partial credit for nailing James Bond's love of martinis. Before we continue, be sure to subscribe to our channel and ring the bell to get notified about our latest videos. You have the option to be notified for occasional videos or all of them. If you're on your phone, make sure you go into your settings and switch on notifications. Number 1. Adrenaline Shot – Pulp Fiction only in the movies can anyone successfully perform a complex medical procedure like this without incident. After Mia Wallace goes unconscious, Vincent Vega gives her a shot of adrenaline right to her heart. Pretty soon, Mia is frazzled but alive. <laughs> that would come as a surprise to any doctor. Adrenaline is definitely not something to be injected directly into the heart because you could risk injuring several vital organs. I never had to give an adrenaline shot. You never give an adrenaline shot? I never had to, all right? I don't go to a problem with a bunch of bubble covers. My face can't handle that. Get shot! Instead, it should be delivered through the arm veins while performing chest compressions. And while we know Vincent had little choice, adrenaline should be administered by a trained medical professional. I never done this yeah, before. I ain't never done it before either, all right? I ain't starting now. Look, you brought it here, and that means that you're gonna give it a shot. We guess we should have expected some inaccuracy with a movie with fiction in the title. Do you agree with our picks? Check out this other recent clip from WatchMojo, and be sure to subscribe and ring the bell to be notified about our latest videos.